Okay, it is uh, the 14th of Aul of Lunasa. It doesn't feel that long ago that I said that exact phrase, mm. uh, but it was over a year ago. Um, and uh, the first thing I think we actually ought to do, um, just to kind of set the scene, is actually start back. Oh no, I put it away. Well, I'm going to bring it back out because I'm going to paint the scene for kind of what you left behind what's behind you uh for the context of what you're doing now um so i have to let's see peninsula and i put these up environs maybe and one more give me just a second here it is. Got it. Okay. So first of all, um, so the surrounding 20 miles, right? Uh, let me just take the lighting off of this for a second. You guys aren't going to be back here for a little bit. Um, the surrounding, you know, 20, 30 miles um, uh, has changed dramatically in the past few months. Um, and I drew Zero. this, I drew this scrappy map. So now I'll zoom into about say 20 miles. So I have like three maps for this area, but, mm -hmm. um, now these things are not developed yet. Um, but per our, they kind of, uh, it applies the state rules just like for them, the way it would, whatever you guys are doing. So this place in the past month and a half at this point now there's a rush an almost urgent rush to bring in materials and people um, there are scaffolding all over the peninsula um, and stone workers are bringing in loads of stone and um, stuff is just being built and people have taken back over the coastline and they're uh, they're fishing and they're bringing in loads of fish to, to sell to fish markets. And um, people have even um, seen both an opportunity to settle and, um, and the need for it started to try to work whatever land is arable in this cold, rocky, salty delta um, up here. So um, there are... Uh, there's kind of like this, uh, there was the uh, the thing last year in Eastreach and all those people, and then there was a calamity in the central part of the island where you all traveled to during the winter. And um, probably if you asked a resident of Albion where they would run to if something bad happened, they would say you were crazy if you suggested north. But now that's what's happened. And... Uh, Caden's Rest has become a, a refuge uh, for people uh, connected by an east-west road that's being pounded away, first unimproved by horses and travelers and merchants making the long journey from the west coast. Um, but by the next season, these things will have become buildings and uh, farmland and roads. Love the map. It's oh, cool. And so. I, can see my, I can see my boyer shop. Yeah, a little tiny. I can see my house from here. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, the peninsula itself were the lords of Caden's Rest, um, you know, live and uh, um, begin and end their adventures. Um, a, uh, a tower is starting to, to be built of stone on the rocky, narrow isthmus of the uh, peninsula where it meets land. Um and uh, there's a lot going on. And the policy of the Council of Caden's Rest, of these mercenaries and cell swords and hedge knights that, uh, that rule this place, uh, is that everybody can come. And so they have, uh, especially from the West. And uh, many different interests have taken up residency outside the gates of Caden's Rest. Um, Let's see here. But 
that was probably a week ago. And now you are, um, you've traveled back again through the Forest of Hope for a week. Um, and you stand uh, finally after after a week of, of kind of avoiding the forests, uh, uh, working hard not to break the pact that you have with the the uh, the lady that uh, mm. with the wolves, um, trying to carefully her. navigate under the best circumstances you can, uh, you make it to this wood fort. Uh, quick questions. I have, if you took, how many you took last time, you would take 12 mercenaries. Oh. At this point, um, your stables, uh, I rolled really well. Uh, I rolled max results for two results. So you have six available horses. You could outfit every single mercenary with a horse if you wanted. That is much more expensive. That would be maybe 17, 1800 gold, assuming you're out as long as you were before. 17 or 1800 gold <clears throat> like you're saying to like buy to buy the horses and have them as part of the um part of our outfit uh no uh <clears throat> to um the cost of the entire operation to feed the horses feed the oh, feed the men uh pay their pay uh at horseman rate um all those things um I, I'm just, that's just kind of a guess because it was about 1,500 yeah. gold, which you did last time. Right. For, wow, we, and we paid that, did we? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I took it out yeah, of the gold. I took it out of it. Okay. Yep. Uh, so for and a remember dozen... how much they, you know, they don't, then. <laughs> oh, for, so for a dozen mercenaries all on horseback? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, six on horseback. Of those, you can also choose a number to be longbowmen. They would probably, I, I this may, you, I'm Paul, you might think this sounds kind of brutal, but I'm going to pay anyone that you put on a horse at horseman rate. Because I think right. that uh, fairness mechanism in the human brain would be like, they're not paying us at horseman rate. We're out there on a horse all week. You know, so I just don't think that would happen. Well, but that actually, being said, you could still you could still outfit them with longbows, like a like a number of them. You had four, so you could give a bunch right. of them longbows. And, and the rules with mercenaries is they won't go underground. They don't take XPs, right? They take XP in the wilderness if you get into a battle, but they oh. do not go underground. Uh, and okay. You also don't pay them in treasure. So if you get twenty thousand gold, they don't get a portion of it. But, but if we good. get 12 gold, they still get their 1,800. Monachan should get half of uh, a share, um, and he does. So that's why he's so happy. They don't get so so they don't get the gold, but they get they get XPs for the gold. Yeah, no, they. You know what I mean? uh, the, well, they don't level either. Um, no, they don't level. They're yeah. just mercenary. So no, I know, but they, but like, so if we get 2,000 gold, and uh, like from doing something out in the wilderness. Which could be these ogres, etc. And uh, say we get ten thousand gold from them, they are going to uh, we have to pay them extra, but we're going to be splitting our XP yes, with them. We will be and splitting our XP. XP is, that includes gold XP. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gold XP goes to them. Yeah. Uh, so, kind of I mean, they're still getting a chunk of it because of the uh, amount we have to pay them. Yeah, they have a flat rate beforehand, right? Right, but the XP I, will be will be paying because they're with us when we're fighting those things. That's yeah. what we're talking about. I don't I, know. I've never been a big mercenary guy, but you know. Yeah, I kind of I don't know either. Like, I mean, maybe we should bring in a smaller elite force, but I just, I mean, they'll help us win. But do we want to? We want. What are we looking for here? I'm looking for XPs, man. Yeah, but the bulk, <laughs> you know the bulk, I mean? the bulk of it's going to be from the lair. Not yeah, from, not from not from which might be above ground. Encounters. Yeah, well, but what if it's a, a above ground fort or something? Then we're like, ah, uh, right. But last time, but okay. I mean, if if we're thinking on that scale, I'll just like last time it was all one HD dudes that were manning the walls. So when they helped us, it was a bunch of guys that were worth like no more than ten or fifteen apiece. I, I will right. give you one consideration for that, uh, and this is really a matter of how much wilderness travel are you doing. Because if you did a massive amount, 
Uh, which hopefully you won't, right? Because your goal is to get here to this wood fort, find this thing, and, and stop it fast uh, so you mm -hmm. don't waste money and time and risk yep. your life. But let's just say you're out in the wilderness for a long time. The other group, the way they made so much XP, is because there are monsters that have like 800 XP a pop. And the way they do, it's because they have uh, save or death. Save versus or, or death. And if in and, and, and combating them or avoiding them, if you do 12 at a time, that's just like, bam, here's like, you know, 2,000 XP, bam, 2,000 XP yeah. uh, t for the whole group. Um, but hopefully you're not in that situation. <laughs> I don't know who does well, this. I mean, we, it's not that there's no spiders out here, but we did expend a significant resources burning down a major spider lair. So. I mean, not to be like st overly strategic about the use of the mercenaries, but I see your point. I can't remember who just said it, but like if there if there is an above ground fortress, uh, it's kind of like what we could be kind of like what we did it with the orcs, where they you know we attack the walls or whatever, and then our the strike force of the PCs goes in and like hits the yeah hits the, the yeah. ogre. Yeah, it's whatever. not a bad thing to leave behind a mercenary force to man yeah. whatever outer thing there is so it, yeah. to me it makes tech perfect tactical sense to this uh, yeah. and honestly from a role-playing sense too it's like we roll deep you know people should fear us and they should understand that a major force will come and strike them if they're coming after zelf force ferry or coming after rick hayden's rest yeah and flanagan i mean i, I would, would be arguing in favor of it like outside of the xp part because uh like he would be Flanagan would want to see uh, six experienced people going with six less experienced and just helping up our. Um, we've yeah. had, we have a dozen that have been training, so yeah. that would yeah, be yeah. that would be good. Yeah, it's a better legacy to leave behind people <laughs> that are following your example. Yep. You just All have right. to take everything uh, on your own back. Hopefully, we can inspire some uh, esprit de corps. So how is that? How did that work last time? Maybe I, I must have missed that session. It, was it like we hired them from the uh, from the Hounds of the Pine? Kind of like we paid the Hounds of the Pine. Yeah, you, ha you have a um, well. I pay each mercenary, so I take the the rules for how much mercenaries get paid, and I do the math. And when I, if you net a large amount of treasure at the very end, I just say, "Hey, here's the bill." And so when you got all that treasure, I'd calculated it was about fifteen hundred gold for what was it, uh, two weeks or three weeks of travel through the wilderness. Plus, I do calculate going home for their pay. Um, sure. And, yeah, it was about 1,500 gold, so. Speaking okay. of which. And I, just, and I just took it out of the gold. and I, I didn't actually didn't subtract uh, the food last time. It was how many weeks? I didn't know how many weeks we. Now, you all should track lost. your food. Like, right, I'm, yeah, not track, I, I'm not tracking your food or your expenses. I just lost track of how much time it was, so I could do that right okay we'll, we'll, we'll we look at it later okay, uh remind later. me in chat later yeah but but this is a this is a major gameplay decision is like how big of a force because you i think you have something like 30 mercenaries without looking like you have a vast force you have an army at this point how yeah. many horses you could only maybe equip 12 with horses i don't know but that's a good guess how many longbowmen i think it's up to four um because no one d bought it in advance so that's fictional now you don't have it but you have four longbowmen already um and yeah and as usual do you want both dogs Menachem and zuvnu because those are also choices uh zuvnu Menachem, and the dogs get hireling xp so they get a half share zuvnu mm -hmm. if he's in combat Oh, I'm keeping he's him a, in the he's sack. A, he's a henchman right now. I'm keeping him in, in the, the box sack. He goes. Yep, straight in the box. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to risk his life. He's our meal ticket right now. He's the yeah. precious he's little a, boy. I'm sorry. He's a henchman. He gets. He's our meat though. He won't get uh, paid. Him with our lives. I will say that he's like a dog in the sense that he's not going to get paid. Okay. Well, yeah. That's for that's for dog on short. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, he's getting paid in food and 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 you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dry, dry straw. So um, you're the group I, caller tonight, uh, Magnus. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first think, big decision. I think I'm going to leave Rex behind in that case. Um, Menachem's bow is too valuable to leave behind. 
Um, what about I would argue. Go ahead. What about Ripley? That would be Dalton's dog. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ripley. Uh, Ripley oh, now he wakes up. I've been here. I've been listening, sort of. Uh, not Ripley. reacting okay. to Ripley. Go ahead. You forgot he's your dog. Hey, look, it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a week for sure, and you got okay. that whole thing going on. Yeah, uh, Ripley. I, I pep pep, but she. Uh, I will arrange for her to be in. Uh, safety for now. Okay. I, no dogs. I do not. I don't. I. I feel really bad if I if they died on trip. my watch yeah, on the first adventure. Problem. And I don't know them well enough yet to like have a trusted like combat. You know, okay. you could leave him uh, so, with Ran. He likes dogs, and it'll give him something to take care of. Yeah, sure. So yeah, yeah, uh, let's leave him with Ran. He's doing the stable work. So this cat, this dog is a vicious eater of men. So feed them regularly. Mm. Uh, Magnus, uh, then the last thing would be how many mercenaries. The last one would time was 12. You can go really high, which would probably be thousands of gold. Like, two, no, we want to, we want to, you said the most we could put on horses is 12, and we want to have everybody on horses. Okay. How many did we have on horses last time? Uh, five. five. So we have like six horses now that can be purchased. I'll, right? I'll, yeah, I'll say that if you take 12, they can all be on horseback. But you'll have yeah. to pay for the horses. I'm sorry, no, yeah. you won't have to pay for the horses. They're yours. Sorry. Yeah. Right. The That's only the drawback way. to that is there's no remounts. Well, very little remounts. I can take mine for a remount. Yeah, okay. I'll take one of mine for a remount. And I... Uh, wait, doesn't... Uh, what happened to... Uh, to... Uh, oh, no, we didn't So, So if mind. you take 12... Not including your extra horses, Alaric. Yeah, that's one remount. Everybody, for it. everybody would have a horse, as far as I know. I like it. I mean, I'm, I'm I vote for twelve. I think that'd be great. Yeah, and max out the longbowman. That's, that's yeah. Uh, I agreed. Max out longbowman, please. Very well. Um, let's see. Three, three. Let's end any wilderness counter before it starts. And uh, do we have a person selling longbows, or is that like something I could be doing in addition to arrows? You could do it. There just yeah, wasn't. The, you, oh, you guys didn't. Right. You know. Yeah, we should start thinking about that. So we'll need it with the town growing. We're going to need to equip guards and stuff like that. So we'll start looking yeah. at getting that that going too. Yeah, All I right. guess I really, I really haven't been able to get like into spreadsheets with these things yet. But um, it's always on my mind. Hopefully, I get some time to do it because it it is interesting to me. But I just haven't had the time lately. Yeah, I actually offered to Odo before we left on our last mission if he needed, uh, you know, any kind of bow, uh, arrows. And I didn't know about bows yet. Uh, arrows and stuff like that to uh, put it in, and he could get them at half price, okay. or whatever. Remind me in chat uh, so we yeah. can look at that stuff. Okay, so here you are. You've traveled for a week, and you're uh, finally see a. Uh, uh, a wood fort, two uh, heavy wooden palisades. This is like a uh, colonial fort kind of thing with two different, uh, two different uh, echelons of, of, of walls and then uh, rough, rugged wooden structures that have been built up on these, uh, these three um, stony peaks uh, that jut out uh, over flat ground. And um, <clears throat> uh, Father Bloombad, so I'll just play him. So By that way, you have the information. Magnus, Magnus and Menachem have both been here before. In okay. Fact, Menachem, in fact, Menachem well, that's right, Magnus, here. you were there. So, yeah. so in that case, you were the guide. So, um, so you, I, I'll describe what you see, and then you can you can decide what to do from there. Um, from where you are, you see that uh, there are two walls. These uh, these wooden palisade type walls. Uh, an outer gate. Um, you can see that uh, people have come and gone uh, this place seems to get some traffic and you can see um, footprints in the uh, oh and by the way it is um, raining today and muddy um, okay hold on sorry I'm not uh, I'll, I'll give you so you can decide what to do with it okay <clears throat> It has been over a year since you have been here. Uh, you can see that this uh, the second palisade, this has been added. 
since then. And um, there are guards that, uh, that stand outside it. Now, the guards, they have the same thing that you saw last time with the, the black veils, where they're not uh, revealing their hands or their faces. And um, I'll tell you that um, just on the inside of this, you can see the following things, so I don't have to describe it twice. There is a, an inner gate, which you are familiar with. It sits higher up on the hill. And there's a uh, hide, um, heavy, uh, big tenting, a campaign-style tenting that sits up on the top of the hill. Uh, there's a series of about three of them. Uh, you can see also in that inner gate that there is a stable and a market that currently items have been covered over with hide. And um, otherwise, uh, no one is out at market. And on the, uh, the left side, you can see a three-tiered wooden flop house that has been built up against the wall. Um, and uh, in the inner gate, there are a bunch of ramshackle buildings that have been put together. And a, uh, a, a, a wooden longhouse-type uh, building for, for the outer guards as a barracks. And then a graveyard made in the style of the religion of the light the one true god of Albion. And um, that is what you see as you approach the uh, the outer gate, which is open and guarded. Uh, do the guards challenge us as we approach? Or are they sort of just standing there? You approach the guards? They are standing yes, there. Yes, well, we approach, we have, we approach the gate, certainly. They, uh, they say, halt, traveler. You know, they're like veiled. Yeah. Okay, so before we ride up, I'm going to take a, a moment to aside to everybody. They hide their faces behind a veil. Uh, it's best not to inquire too deeply about it. Uh, should their secret get out, uh, I trust you all. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's not comfortable for them. They uh, they have monstrous form behind these veils and so uh and so it's best if you uh, just uh, don't ask ignore. too many questions about that and just ignore it and and don't uh, i i don't know if things have changed much in the last year but uh, there will be areas where you won't be allowed to go and or, or see behind uh, but i think it would be best to at least pay our respects and let them know that we've uh, come back and we're here about uh, you might call it the lights business are, are we supposed to wear veils too, or...? No, no, no. It's, as I say, they, they, they hide their form. All right. You don't know what they are? We shouldn't ask questions. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll share with them what I remember, which I saw, I believe I saw Anne herself after we defeated the spiders. Um, but did she have, like, a lizard, or was it, like, uh, they're basically... <clears throat> half orcs or something? I mean, they're, 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 they look like they're similar to the mutant. Ah. Uh, All right. Is that correct, Ross? Or do they have like tails? I can't remember if they had tails or not. I think oh, they're just. God. I don't maybe, think they maybe have you, tails. maybe you, because um, a lot happened to Magnus in a very short period of time. Maybe you're not even yeah. sure anymore. Uh, well, but... they they remind me, you know, of much of the mutant men that we've had to encounter in the in the and deal with recently, but. Uh, they are true servants of the, the light, and they brought civilization to these lands as best they could. Some of our first employers. Well, I, it's like we've been saying uh, up, you know, at Canaan's Rest, that you can't well, judge by, by people's looks, right? No, indeed. And uh, it would that more felt the same, but uh, as it is, they veil their faces yeah. to avoid All doubt. Right. Well, thank you okay. for the so, yeah, so that, I tell them that, and yeah, we approach the guards, and I introduce myself. Uh, uh, we were here, my, fr I, my friend and I, I wave at Menachem, you may remember us, uh, we spent some time here last year. They look at you, you know, peering behind uh, shaded veils, and um, they say, you'll need to wait outside. And then one of them leaves, and they go, and they get someone, and he comes back. And um, he is um, uh, walks shakily, um, 
as he as he approaches, uh, but also behind a, has a, the the black veil and the black outfit, and um, he um, his hands you can see are covered in more straps and stuff. And as he gets closer, you realize it has he has bandages on his hands and arms, and they have a uh, a slick oily appearance to them. And uh, and he says, uh, Magnus. It is I. Remind me of your name, friend. You would not remember me. They call me Shakes. See. Well, I, I assume you've been come out to welcome us. I remember you. I remember all of your people. I'll say Father Bloombad isn't with you right now, because I think this is more interesting. Um, and, uh, and he says, uh, I remember you and your people, and I remember what you did here. You brought us uh, hope for a while. You also brought us disasters that we hadn't counted on. The disasters? What do you intend? I... Well, you can't leave that in the air, my friend. What disasters do you speak of? You killed those bandits that spied on us in the on the tower to the northeast. We still man that tower. I watch for our enemies. I glance over at Nanaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he uh, he just acts entirely. What do you call it? Impassive, just like right. Yeah. Well, that spell has never been dispelled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. anyway, uh, uh, yes, uh, well, and so they've continued to predate on the surrounding area, have they? Have they been raiding your works? Not at all. Not for us. And the giant spiders. I haven't seen many of them sometimes, but not nearly as many. Well, then, what's the disaster? You brought us a far worse infestation. Uh oh. People. Uh, uh. Half of them I... died in that year. Have you not been able to get enough food? Half of those that died, we killed. So they turned to banditry? They weren't suited for life here. I'm looking down and around. Uh, I'm looking what, around why, why were they? Why were they killed? I don't know if I want to hear the more of this. <laughs> I'm intensely curious. Yeah, it's not good. You know that we have strict rules in this place. Have you told your friends our rules? I have. Do they know that the penalty of breaking those rules is death? Well, they do now. Ah. Uh... Maybe you could clarify the rules. Yeah, I really <laughs> want to know the rules. Just, just to make sure, it's it been a be year. Wise. It's been a year since I've been here, my friend. Um, perhaps we could go over them again in detail. Yes, perhaps please. I, I need to watch. Attention. I think I will pay more attention the second time. He points up the hill, the muddy hillside up to the top where the hills uh, crowd around the uh, the palisades where you have the big heavy tents. Um, he says that is the inner gate. Beyond the inner gate are three large tents. Under no circumstances is anyone to ever enter a tent. The penalty is death. Beyond that palisade, beyond that gate, not one shall ever utter a prayer to the light. It is forbidden here. That's the palisade before you get to the tents. I must confess I have forgotten that part. Thank you for reminding me. That one's new. The I people can't that, remember somebody talking about that. The people that came here, they call us the Rooks now. You'll see us referred to as that as we patrol. We move about the markets, the slums, the flop house. Whatever business we have is ours. Do not ask us questions. 
And when we ask you to do something, you should do it, so long as you're within these walls. Well, uh, my friend, uh, I, I, I confess, uh, there was a plan. It's, we, we, it's not our intention to stay long, but uh, we did want to pay our respects. Ross, is this person Vale? Mm-hmm. And, and do they look any different uh, stature-wise, or is there anything like just in the part that's exposed that looks a little, that looks out of different at all? It's, it's shaded so well that you can't tell anything. The thing about the person that's talking to you now is that he's shaking a little bit. Yeah, right. And, uh, and he's got, you can see it closer, bandages on top of leather gloves and straps and things that they've they've made and uh, they have a oily matted appearance to them okay um, Lanigan is just a, a str- on his horse and I, if you I, you know you're in the middle of something but like mm-hmm. I imagine like Flanagan is kind of the head of these mercenaries too like he's the representative of the hound so I guess he's kind of like with standing at the head of the line of mercenaries are all on horseback yeah you're in command of a large number of people too a whole pl- yeah. you know platoon of people yeah. Um, uh, he, he goes on, he says, um, So long as you are here in these lands, survival is on you. We will not protect you. We will not save you. We do not ride to your aid. We do not ride to anyone's aid or to each other's. If someone cannot protect themselves and survive, they are not fit to stay here. Indeed. Well, we are forced to live by a similar code ourselves. Is it possible to pay our respects to Anne? I can ask. I don't know when I'll wait outside. (laughs) Yes. I I think I'm going to choose to withhold what we're here for, except for her. Not, Not because I don't trust this guy, I just... I, I feel like it would be more respectful to just tell her directly, if possible. That's my thinking. He points to the uh, the longhouse, and he says, Your weapons. All of them. There are no weapons here. We will keep them there. Anytime you leave, you can have them back. Hmm. And perhaps... Uh... You all would re- prefer to wait outside? Yeah, I'm going to wait outside. <laughs> um, and then lastly, he says, uh, there can be no fighting here. If a fight breaks out, the rooks will, will attend and we will watch. If someone fights another, the two must fight to the death. Yes, well, it's a more regimented than I remember, but then again, I was busy with many things at the time. You've had an interesting year. Yes. I'd forgotten how interesting it was in other places as well. The penalty for breaking any of the laws of Anne is death. <laughs> I and, mean, you, you, and even if you win the fight to the it, death, one of them. Yeah. even <laughs> if you win the fight to the death, shrugs uh, okay. okay i guess you have to find that out for ourselves i'll repeat all these laws to the to the hounds behind me here um but if, if you don't mind we'll follow those laws and and we'll also camp and camp outside the walls here if that's all right with you i mean it offers you even more protection um but i prefer that our our, our group stays armed and um it's, it's just kind of it's the way we are and the way we travel as you say we must protect ourselves. Yes, at, but at, we would do business on your market and be good guests. If you should stay outside the wall, stay away from lantern light to the distance from the walls at night. <laughs> yeah. If, All if, right. if, if um, you approach the walls, we may think that you're an enemy. Hmm. We have had many. We have to be careful. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> well, we'll make sure and, and alert your gate guards exactly as to our location. Should we, um, when we make camp? Chris, I don't know, like, do, do we actually want to have a discussion about this? Like, 
uh, that's just sort of my my impulse. No, no. Is I, 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 I entirely me. agree, one hundred percent. Now, now I we will can't say, to check our weapons with them because our weapons are magical. They're too valuable not to steal if they get their hands on them. Now, I, I will say. <clears throat> Because uh, I didn't clarify this, but um, the the mechanism and the, the the game convention that uh, you know where you can gain a settlement to start at assumes that you will go in the settlement and be there and go to a tavern and you know and, okay. and stay. Now that being said, does that mean that your small army needs to do that? No, I don't. You know, I don't think so. Um, and and it sort of makes sense. Like if you have a visiting force, would you just like? march them into the walls yeah. you know so um yeah. i mean yeah. yeah so i get what you're saying is actually we we probably do need to sort of establish ourselves here for at least for a second if we're gonna like if the well i don't know i don't know stay at stay at the at the flop house or at a mat well, are, or, are, are you so so if we do we get the benefit of you know we pay get food rest all that stuff whatever we could um, leave menachem out there with our our gear well, he's, our not gear. He's, he's not going to stand the rain he, he yeah. lived here he lived here for a few months without me so the, he, the other downside i will say <laughs> is the last the other downside to the mercenaries sleeping outside is they'll be subject to um encounters oh. <laughs> they're, they're yeah. not in a sanctuary I'm, all right actually, well, let's let's change let me let's cut change. let me cut the cordy knot a little bit are they going to steal our expensive no, no, stuff? No, no. Is that something a, they're not. This is a, okay, just be clear, sure, yeah. just this is a sanctuary that we helped establish. Right. The, the reason they have these buildings is because we delivered, like, a big bunch of wood to them and a bunch of food and stuff like that. Like, they, they you know. Sure, let's crash here. I, yeah, that's, that was I my only never to return. Steal my knife. <laughs> yeah, just don't yeah, break the rules. Out. I'm not going to. Think... They're pretty simple to avoid. Not them. <laughs> Their rules are freaking me out. I think there's something with the um, with the hounds like being a mercenary force, and and Flanagan wants to ensure like this is like we're holding this is a uh, a lot of them are pretty new, and we want to like show our the the integrity of the force and and all that kind of stuff too. But I, we've also been traveling for weeks now, right? So I think it would be okay to just to say to them like you've done well, everyone. Like we really you've shown. I appreciate you know the way that you've you know, just, like ref the, what what we've done so far has been great. Um, and we're working together really well, and now we have a chance to rest, um, we're, and, and just not treat it like a big deal. Like we're we're giving up our arms. This is something that we'd agreed on, um, and and they're allies to us, and we're going to have a night or two of rest here. Um, and here are the laws, yeah. and he lays down the laws. But make a point that literally, mercenaries tend to party. If you party wrong here, you die, and we can't do nothing about it. Yeah, exactly. That's the law part. Yeah, he tells them all about, like, yeah, we're not responsible. We, Go ahead. I was just going to say, how about we, you know, rat, I don't know. If they're, you're in command of the, of the boys, you know, let, let them, but, 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 but maybe ration their liquor. Uh, if, they, if they're, I mean, you, you'd hate to, you know, there's a random role somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you'd I don't hate know, I think... <laughs> You know what I, I mean? Think... He, he just told us they killed half of the people that came yeah. to them for refuge. So, yeah, you know. I think my, my vibe is I would just tell them like, look, you, if you, you can drink, if you want to drink, that's, that's up to you. Um, but I'll tell you more than half the people who've been living here have died in the last six months. So if you, and, and you're not my responsibility, if you, if you're in one of the dead ones, the, and the just new like, young ones look really nervous. And one of them's like, uh, uh captain, uh, uh the, is it we're not supposed to pray to the light if we go in the inner wall what kind of people are these that they don't allow people to to give deference to the light what does that mean Just i don't know what it means <laughs> yeah. look at me uh, has got a little bit of in this world which react to the to the voice of the light with an evil you cannot comprehend there are times and places for all things a context and circumstance for silence as well as voice if you must pray step outside but do not speak them within these words, for there is, for if they utter, if they command you not to, no, there is a reason, and it's a good one. Dalton, what, you I, I got to tell you. How many times do I have to tell you, Dalton? Stop talking to the men like that. You're, <laughs> you're creeping them out every time you, you bring it up. Dalton lapses into another. Da Dalton uh, laughs creepily for three to five minutes. Oh, <laughs> right back, I gotta go to the bathroom. It barely makes sense to me, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah. yeah, you all seen enough. I mean, if you if you're gonna if you want to get used to things, this is the world around us, 
fellows. So uh, I don't have any answers for that. And you're going to see a lot more things that, that we don't have answers for. Maybe that's what Dalton just said. I don't know. I don't really understand him <laughs> so well that's myself. Fine, yep. Okay, so you hand your weapons over to be yeah. stored into the longhouse, and then uh, they also they offer you a place to stable your horses and to actually... They do not provide you horse feed. Um, you'll have to pay for that. Uh, but they um, they can be kept warm and um, outside of the rain, which is nice. Uh, you have to take them up to the, the inner gate to do that, to the stable. It occupies most of the stable space, but... There aren't many merchants here currently, or hardly any at all, so. All right, where do you all, uh, let's see, this is currently. Um, I want to I want to pay my respects to Anne. That's really, like I said before, that's my. All right, I'll actually say this is like the night before as well. Uh, so like, you know, you made it here, and so they can, the, the men, they go to the flop house. Um, maybe some of them go to the, um, uh, where is it, the, uh, the Traveler's in. Hold on. I lost my place here. Yeah. Actually, they have like a Traveler. Like a place for people to, to relax. Uh, it's a very Spartan thing. But um, kind of on each floor, there are some places to sit and talk. Uh, so that's something at least. Anyways, um, what do you do, Magnus? Do you take everyone uh well you should because i mean yeah well, i mean you know yes um, unless someone explicitly doesn't want to go i'm assuming that the party oh yeah should, alaric should you said that you didn't want to go right i i'm happy with just keeping an eye on the men to make sure they don't get themselves in any trouble okay so alaric you go to the flop house i'll, I'll be the babysitter of these guys um sure the flop house if you want um for well, listen for things information this is a really wild question and in a year and two months of gameplay i've never asked it do you have any copper on you yes i do oh, how much copper do you have i have 10 copper i have 10 silver and i have you guessed it 10 gold plus five platinum um there is a uh there's a man here um rugged somewhat toothless um tattooed uh from you know, so well magnus uh, you'll ultimately see this person if you sleep at the flop house there's nowhere else to sleep you, you can easily look at this person and tell that they were not of the nobles that you rescued you know these were pro this is like one of the outlaws you probably rescued the people that fled eastridge right and uh and he says uh Oh, there's a whole bunch of people coming tonight. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Make yourself dry. Yes. Dry is good. Oh, what's your name? You. What's your name, Alaric. sir? Uh, Alaric of Caden's Rest. Name's Keegan. He grabs your Oh, Keegan. Hey, Keegan, Keegan it's nice to meet you. Keegan. Oh, sorry. Uh, road dust. Ah, oh, yeah. The, the rains have driven away anybody that would come here and trade, so you can feel welcome to grab a bed and he motions to like well, like i'm basically like a cattle stall door like a wooden door and you can see a straw mat with bugs crawling around you know and there's like three floors of a and bunch of these snacks. things like yeah breakfast in bed just grab any bed you want boys go ahead and take your pick best ones on the third floor anyways five copper pieces a night Per person. And how many people do we have here? Well, 12 plus uh, uh, you would be uh, 13. All right. You, you know, and then uh, what uh, What do you do? What's, where's Zuvnu? That's, a, that's an interesting problem. Zuvnu is, <laughs> Zuvnu is in a sack tied to the side of my horse uh, uh big it's my large it's a large sack right no he uh, thinks it's like a palanquin and he's just being yeah. carried around like a exactly like a so, mighty well, warlord it stay he stays there until it's time to go visit Anne. like he said he was going to go see if she was available or whatever if 
if I get the news that she is, then I'm going to take him with us up to meet her so that I can show her what we're trying to do. Okay. Um, all right. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'll work. So it's... I took care of everybody. Uh, oh, so nice. that leaves me with, with five uh, platinum, five gold, zero silver, five copper. I didn't expect to, to... If I knew I was going to be spending money on the trip, I would have brought more money, but that's my traveling money. So he'll gladly accept larger amounts, but obviously... He does not have change, so... Uh, that's exact change. Yeah. yeah I totally, was able to totally do that. Totally fine. Okay. And, um, so yeah, you're able to get, a, a insect field straw mats. Oh, thank stuffed. you. Mm. Yeah. 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 All right. They, he has, uh, they have brewed Legend some things home. to drink here. Uh, it's a simple, a simple beer, uh, that they have made. And, you know, it's fine. Uh, but it includes... How much is that? Well, it's included. So for five okay. copper pieces, you get a straw mat to sleep on, a uh, a beer, and some uh, some. What would they have here? Potatoes. I toss them an extra three coppers to make sure that each of the beers are watered down extra. What tuber would be here? Turnips. That sounds about gross enough. There's a <laughs> hey, turnips this, are great. Barrels of old turnips. turnips, you know, and mean and, vegetables. Um, they don't get a lot. And they, he takes it, and because he's got all these visitors, he's he just stews it up in a big pot, and you get some turnip soup with some uh, wild herbs that they have nearby. So everybody gets some turnip soup and some some beer. That's all homegrown here. Sounds good. I love uh, Dan's idea of paying him extra to water down the beer a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, g I gave him three coppers to water down the beer. I'm down to two coppers. That's a Being good idea. Plan. Yeah. Okay, so... Excuse me. That shouldn't be a... Too, it shouldn't be very hard to do to get him to do that, but yeah. just maybe that tip. Makes sense. Um, so, loose calories, though. But, mm. um, all right. <clears throat> Meanwhile, at the inner gate, uh, everyone else... Right, uh, follows Magnus. Magnus, uh, we can just assume that you know you have Zuvnu when you need him. And um, the guards, they stop you uh, as you approach the tent, and they say, "Who are you, and where are you going?" Uh, well, I was uh, hoping to pay my respects to Lady Anna. My name is Magnus. I was sometime visitor here about a year ago. Uh, As was my companion, Manaka. He uh, does a sarcastic flourish. And uh, they do not respond. One of them, however, turns around and leaves. And then after some moments in the rain, they uh, come back and they motion you in to the main tent. Thank you. Everybody remember the rules. When you... Uh, uh, is okay if Flanagan's there too, then? And uh, is Dalton there too? I'm assuming everybody except uh, uh, Alaric. Yes. Yeah, Flanagan is behind and, and quiet. Dalton has finally finished his unskippable laughter cutscene, so he's quiet too. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, all yeah, right. like that. So you, you enter uh, the, the tent, and um, uh, once again you have the... And, Again, I can't remember what it's called, but the um, folding wall that you put in a place. Partition. Um, yeah, partition. Um, and you hear a voice behind it that just says, It's been over a year. And the voice is not the voice you remember from Anne. Indeed it has. I hear... Things have been not entirely happy in the last year. Oh. It has been an absolute celebration. What do you mean? Oh, perhaps uh, perhaps Shakes just has a, uh, a door view of the world. Shakes is the captain of my guards. I'm very thankful for him. Excuse me. What brings you back after a year, strange hedge wizard? <laughs> uh, 
Well, uh, this little fellow here, I have with me, my friend uh, Zuvnu. Um, if you just crack open the bag, you just get a. Be calm, be calm, be calm, Zuvnu. <laughs> he... I, I merely wish to introduce you to another of my associates. Do you do you speak? You speak. Uh, his language, yeah, I, the language yes, of with the that, serpent. Uh, I, yes, exactly. Uh, he's he's announcing himself. He's like, I am Zuvnu, Lord of the. Uh, why? Well, well, I'm a here. lord, and uh, and I have have traveled far. Uh, you you shall pay me a tribute and and stuff. Yeah. Right. I I I I toss a ration into the bag. Yeah, <laughs> you make it look like yeah. He uh, he accepts your tribute, and mm. uh, and that may it manages to close his mouth as he eats it. But um, she uh, she says, "You've brought one of those monsters from outside into our walls. For what purpose?" He's under my care, you may say, and uh, as such, uh, he's quite uh, cooperative and agreeable. And uh, he, he will lead us to the lair of his uh, former boss. Uh, we, we are given to understand an ogre of some sort. So we propose to finish this ogre and uh, whatever blight on the land he, uh, he represents. Because uh, our goal is to eliminate as many threats to the civilized lands here as possible. So you have used your strange tricks to control the beast. Uh, yes, yes, but uh, don't let him know that. Um, she says, uh, did you not see in the path in from the southwest trail or the barbarians that we trade with to this day? Did you not see along the path? And you did not come from that direction. You came from the north across the river. Well, we uh, we approached from another way. What did we miss? Many of their bodies. The barbarians' bodies? No. Beasts like that in that sack. Oh. Yeah. They yeah, fear us. I they do not come anywhere near our lands. They know that torment awaits them. Well, we're, we're, we're not slow in killing them. That's excellent news. That may explain why they felt the need to come round towards uh, what used to be Zelkor's Ferry, now Caden's Rest. Perhaps. Nonetheless, uh, we just finished with uh, destroying one such threat, and we thought... While we're at it, why not attend to another? It does not concern us, but you should find plenty of them out there. I warn you, they're not as foolish as they seem. Uh, I, uh, we have no intention of underestimating. But I thank you for your warning, nonetheless, and felt it would be at least polite to announce our presence and announce our purpose you give me vague recollections of a time before this hell a time when I was a different woman in a different place thank you I suppose as I say merely polite my bow Enjoy our amenities. Yes, uh, though I hope not too much. Um, and this is all through a, a screen, right? Like, she might not even know we're really here. The other's up, like, I don't think Vladigan said a word during on this whole thing. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be shocked if she could smell you. Yeah, probably. She's been through some weird stuff. Yeah. I can tell you that uh, 
but myself and my companions are, are very grateful for your hospitality as always and uh, and it's uh, only a shame that we haven't been able to come back sooner but uh, I, I did hear tell that, that uh, there's still some bandit presence nearby that uh, afflicts the region somehow. There are strange things. They're organized. Some of them hulking, towering, amalgamations of various beasts. But again, they do not bother our trails or our trade roads. They know that terrible pain awaits them if they do. Oh, uh, she, your news is all like, good. Might be a Francis this one. There yeah. are several such groups of strange creatures out there, and yes. we do see them and observe them from our tower, and from the path as they make their way from the northeast to the southwest, some from the southwest to the east. But they don't bother us. And what of uh, what of this Korak? If I, I remember the name rightly, Korak. His little beasts that you have in your sack. They desperately raid and ambush and try to trick. Wait, <laughs> I thought Korak was the name of the bandit uh, leader. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was thinking of a, a different one. The floating um, castle. Yes, first. yes. Um, she's still there, beyond the tower, waiting for the moment when we grow weak. The moment that our settlement is overtaken with sickness, where we make too many, um, well, maybe it's enough to say, if we grow weak, she'll be ready. I see. I have a look around at my companions and say, sounds like there's work yet to be done. Flying in nods and whispers, Sh should we introduce ourselves, do you think? By all means, uh, please, uh, my, and my apologies. <laughs> um, yes, my companions Flanagan and, and Dalton. And, Hello. Uh, uh, I guess that's all that's with us at the moment. Yep. Good, good evening, Anne. Uh, my name's Flanagan. I'm the captain of the Hounds of the Pine from the to the north, a uh, place called Caden's Rest. And Well, we've heard a lot about you and heard a lot of good things from Magnus here and from Father Bloombad. The Hounds of the Pine. I knew your last captain. He was a... Yeah, yes. A brave and great, uh, a powerful warrior. It was thanks to him that they scattered the, well, the bandits to the northeast and took the tower. Yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, his his legacy lives on with the pines. So uh, we endeavor to f follow through on the the the. The, the good things that he did. Forgive me. You do not sound like a military commander or a landed lord. I'll be honest with you, I'm not. I mean, was put into this. I was a farmer. But uh, I'm making the best of what's been given to me. And I'm still alive. And while I am alive, I'm doing the best I can. And I can tell you that while I'm alive, I'm following through on what Magnus and everyone else has told me, and we're we're allies of yours. So that's that's all there is to it. Good fortune to you all. Thank you, Lady Anne. Yes, many thanks. Well, all right, so, so okay, I'll, we'll make our leave then. Um, make our yeah. leave. We'll I'd do. Like the bit with the screen door. It was a very ominous facade she had going. I rather liked that. <laughs> Good pageantry. Flat planning is just quiet. I think it's actually really cool that that she said that. That like he doesn't seem like a lord or a, like cool. I don't think he he feels like he's uh, maybe a bit of a still doesn't feel like he's landed in being uh, like a, a, a 
mercenary captain. You know, yeah. like he's nothing like uh, what's his name, who's uh, Kellogg? Sword and Shield. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's really cool. He sort of feels like, um, yeah, he feels kind of awkward about all that. And he knows that my second character, the second level fighter, I can't remember his name right now, who would be my replacement, is like a, a soldier. And like the people coming up in the ranks are actually probably maybe more capable than he is. But he's still doing the best he can. He's doing a good job, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree. Is he the perfect man for the job? No, but he's certainly a yes. good man for the job. Any yeah, man, like <laughs> any man who holds a tower yeah. shield between... Me and, and and crossbow bolts is is number one. Yeah, and again, has many marvelous qualities which are difficult to replace. So I like it though. It is like that. It's cool. Go ahead. Yeah. No. Um. Uh, I I I don't want to do any <clears throat> particular shopping unless it's like something you absolutely need. But I mean, you already left with probably anything you needed to buy, right? So, uh, but there is a, a a place here, a good store. Um, these are the places kind of in town. There's a slum, the outer guards barracks, a graveyard, a stable, a market, <clears throat> which is currently mostly unoccupied, the leader's tents, and uh, the flop house with the kind of the traveler's inn of a sort. And you the flop house is certainly better than the tents. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And if there's no further business and, 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 or any shopping, I propose we uh, get to bed and early to rise. All right. Um, when you open the door to the flop house, you kind of bump into me because I was leaning against the door nonchalantly so nobody would be <laughs> leaving the flop house without <laughs> me noticing it. <laughs> Just All with right. your arms crossed and a silent yeah. shake of the head if anybody approached. You're uh, they, able. I said they could party in here. Um, they don't seem too much uh, in the mood for partying. Uh, both being foot sore and and um, fatigued, but also being cowed into terror by both the guard that they saw and the strange things here, and then Dalton. The combina oh. the combination of foot sore and, and and terror has made it so that they mostly have, have decided that this just isn't a time for celebration. Right, and if any of them have any empathy or, or can read visual clues, they realize that I am extremely uncomfortable and want to strike camp as soon as we can to get out of here, though I'm pretending to smile and be cheery. Yeah, it's not the happiest That's the part that's scaring them, the pretending to smile and be cheery. Yeah, it's not the happiest of locations. Uh, I got every word's a, a doom sentence. Yes, yes, I, was, I, I, I forgot that that was the way of things here. I, wow. had, hoped they, I had hoped they'd brightened up a little, but wow, apparently yeah. not. She makes, like, it talk, I mean, not cheap, the people here make talking about, like, what they ate for breakfast sound, like, like, ominous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a freaky place. Uh, in the morning, the sun rises, and uh, Albion has decided to continue to pour its rain for a second day. Uh, the winds pick up, and so there are these kind of torrents where it comes through, and then it stops, and then it comes through, and uh, and there are these kind of windy torrents that come in waves through uh, the next day. Um, almost coastal. Here's where, I, here's where I have fun with the boys. So, it's really raining out. You guys want to stay here one more night and wait for the weather? <laughs> That is a really tough decision, and uh, they just look at each other nervously. And actually, that's a great question. So I'd toss that over to uh, to you all. Uh, starting if you can madness. finance it. Well, I meant you... I, I I meant to just mess with the boys. I don't want to be here another night. If I'd rather be in the rain, as you like it. Uh, no, I mean the the question is whether or not Zuvnu can navigate us uh, effectively. Uh, mm. And and I so Ain't I no ask, high level ranger. So I ask him. Uh, that question. He says, uh, he's like, of course, of course, uh, Zuvnu is ready, and, uh, uh yeah. I Let's caught see. myself about to put my hands together, I was about to pray for that answer, and then I remembered to just keep my hands apart. <laughs> well, you're not inside the, uh, I inner, don't uh... want any reflex <laughs> actions anywhere. Um... Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't think I want to wait. 
Okay. Uh, all yeah, right. I, I think so too. It just seems like with Mercenary, again, with like, I don't think it's the best thing to be showing these guys that we're going to stay inside when it's raining. Like, we stay one night, then we get out there in the rain. And I, like for Flanagan, um, he, this is a te this is to test people too, right? Like, who's complaining? Who doesn't want to do it anymore? Like, it's a uh, this is training at the same time in a way. Um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, you break camp and you you depart. You get all your weapons back and you have all of them, taking account of them. Um, nothing is missing. Uh, and yes, visibility is is poor. It's actually not that poor today. Let me fix that. Uh, more like this today. Let me actually make it a little bit more. I forgot. I usually put it right outside what the visibility would be. So there's not much that you can see. You can tell. You can tell that there are some forests, some tree lines off in the distance. You're sitting uh, at this uh, this this hill uh, area that I was describing. These three jagged hills that uh, um, sit kind of as a, a backstop against this. Um, colonial fort style little town uh, and then all around you are just muddy river valley and floodplains um, and it's very muddy out um, what do so you do? I'm gonna well I'm gonna put Zubnu on the ground and uh, and say uh, stay close Zubnu and, and if, if you uh, sense danger back in the sack Yes, yes, I will ride in the sack, and my and my minions will charge into battle. That's it, exactly, exactly that. I'll need your tactical ex expertise. Yes. All right, but until that time, he is I'll need so you. happy to to <laughs> think that his enemies will just be driven before him and tra trampled under the. The hooves and foot heavy boots of these giants, uh, this army that Zuvnu has assembled, he is a mastermind and he knows it. Awesome. Yeah. I like him confident. Yeah. All right. Where do you go? Wherever he leads. So you have oh. Zuv, you have Zuvnu leading. Well, he's yeah. I literally have. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just. I have no I think that uh, probably Dalton ought to be right up with Zubnu uh, as his uh, as his loyal manservant. Of course. I'm the only one who can defeat him in tic-tac-toe. I'm the only one he truly respects. <laughs> For some reason, uh, Dalton says that with like the most serious face, like it's the most important thing ever. Correct. Magnus raises his, eye, his eyebrows and nods slowly. All right. Those Dalton. two, those two make a real pair. Ah. <sighs> All righty. I will assist Zufnu in his masterful uh, wayfinding and orienteering. All right. Um. But then I say to Dalton, but seriously though, please don't let Zufnu get killed. I shall protect his life with my own. Well, uh, you don't have to go that far. Zuvnu starts... Let me have my fun. He, he leads you this way. Um, and uh, you travel. Let me do some checks. Oh, I do have fun. Oh, yeah. Zuvnu makes everything fun. He's, he's delightful. He's like a... Uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure. I'm, in fact, I'm positive he isn't. Does not have a weapon. Not the weapon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm positive. Uh, well, I certainly didn't give him one. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve these. I think that's actually it. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you start heading out into the muddy plains. Uh, you can barely see. It's just like rain. Just comes in sheets. And then it clears up, uh, and then you can see off in the distance in one instance when it clears up several hours into your journey uh, that there's a hillside here, and then off in the distance another rocky hillside up in the distance. Um, but that's the best you can see. Um, 
And then, uh, let's see, Dalton, roll a d6. You said you were trying to help him and stuff. Um, of course, you don't know where he's going, but uh, there are some ranger things that you could do with this. You can see if there's any tracks along the way he's leading you. All right, you got a three. So uh, Zuvnu is like, I'm sure it's this way, it's this way. And you travel for hours. Uh, and then um, you do see tracks that seem to be going the direction that Zuvnu uh, is um, is indicating. I bring them to Lord Zuvnu's attention with the deference he is due. He looks at it and he's like, mm, mm, mm. Nope. No, these aren't my people. Let's go. He turns around and goes the opposite way. He starts going the, down this way. That's seem true? Hmm? This is, like, is that consistent with like what I can see of the tracks? Uh, now, when you look at the tracks, uh, you see a coyote lizard dog uh, cobalt tracks, for sure. Right. Interesting. But he doesn't see, he doesn't, he thinks these are, he recognized, I, does, did he seem to recognize that they were cobalt tracks? Yeah, he's I'm like, trying to figure he's, he's like, these aren't my people. This is, this not them. A different yes. tribe? Yeah. Well, I'll have to, now does he speak common? I guess I should probably stay near Oh him. crap, that's right. Now he, you're interpreting between Dalton yes. and him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be up there. I was uh, prepared for him to actually have a strong opinion that was well informed. This is this changes things a little bit. <laughs> All right, who, who, who are they? Who Al are they? Alaric, sorry, what were you saying? I just had the question that something that may not have been resolved from the last week. Did we uh, find any? There were all the the vials. They were uh, different colors. They had the red, the something, and the gray ones. The gray ones were the, like the ones that we detected evil. Did we get any any cure potions or any kind of potions that we should know about to take with us? I did not see anything in role play where anyone said to do that. If I'm wrong, okay. if, if I'm wrong, please, you know, point me to it uh, and, and I'll get that fixed and I apologize. Yeah. But no problem. I was recapping at the end of it twice about uh, what things we needed to do because I was tracking all the treasure and then the items that we got. So I wanted to make sure we figured out so we could disperse it, just like we were dispersing the items, the magical arrows, which we didn't get an answers on that either. The yeah. now, you know what, we, the what we might want to do because uh, everybody's busy and I am too you know what we what mm -hmm. we might want to do is just have the caller from maybe the previous week do the caller thing and and what that is is like if you don't hear from anybody for about 24 hours just make a decision and you just post it in a role play hey you're getting these arrows uh, you know you're well, getting this that and, was, that and was I'm, actually ta you I'm taking this we, no it was actually you because we needed to know if they were like dripping with evil that we weren't well, going to use. Now, if That's you what. posted in role play and you said, hey, oh, I, I took this I took this to right. um, uh, what's his name? Ullman. I took this to Ullman and yeah. you posted in role play and I missed it, then please let me, please gotcha. All right. let me know. We'll get back to that later. Yeah, yeah. I think what I you're think suggesting, it. Ross, is that like, if that's not happening, it is, it's on us still, uh, like the caller just take it on to put, us, put it in role play. And, it might and be a good way to organize it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what cool. it probably is. Is that I was doing since it wasn't, it was communications to you versus role play. Because I was asking, you know, now well, I know I'll couch it next time in role playing and I'll get well, it. Well, no, 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 you don't have to couch it in role playing. And actually, let me clarify. No, so it makes it easier. It's less busy. When, when I say, when I say role play, what I mean in the chat, that means it actually happened. So if right. you type no, something, you. if you type something in there, it doesn't have to be play acted. It, you can type right. in, I took, okay. I take this to Ullman period Good. And I'll follow up on that. that's all you gotta do mm -hmm. um that that way i know it actually happens because if something yep. gets yep. put no, in there, it, yeah. and it's very crowded the other one so yeah that makes more mm -hmm. sense we'll do that real far okay. go ahead okay uh oh i guess suppose there's an important proviso i should take into account as a result of finding this other guys which is that there's even more f bloody kobolds around here uh and apparently they come in very large numbers uh and they have will have no sympathy or allegiance to Zuvnu whatsoever. So uh, be ready for that one. The flip side of that, Zuvnu won't care if we kill them. Yeah. Right. No, he, he won't care anyway. We are his new army. That's true. Okay. We have a little, uh, just a little conversation here. Uh, sure, sure. So are, are we going to follow around Zuvnu through the rain? Uh, the 
I mean, the troops' morale is going to start going they down. They are his men. Um, yeah, if they're watching us following a, a little dog man in a bag, <laughs> like, are we, are we going to have some kind of, uh, at some point, are we, you're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the liaison. Society so woman with a dog first dog. Okay, <laughs> explain well, quite it. frankly, Magnus, I don't know what to explain to my first man about what's cobalt. going on. We were following, you were carrying this thing around in like a, like a, <laughs> less than a dog. In, in, and now we're following around in the woods in the rain. And it's just, uh, well, we're we're track. So, Flanagan, you need to draw that because I have an image in my head of a woman carrying a purse kobold now, and it needs to be made into art. Go ahead. Anyway, later. Uh, for, well, for the light's sake, man, I, 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 I can't uh, be entrusted with the morale of the troops. I, I've got to. No, no. I'm not asking you to. This is a question for everyone. I mean, I mean, Dalton, you're the one walking up with this, with this, with this goddamn thing. And excuse my language. And uh, what well, now wants to go the other direction? And you just well, I found some tracks right there. What do we know if he's going to go the other direction and and go take a crap under a tree and then fall asleep? You don't. What am know. I going to say to my man if that happens? Well, you, whatever it I, takes. You remind them they're being paid. This is true. We are all being well paid for. Our and they're not being attacked while they're being paid it seems like they should be happy doing my that. dear friends does Not anyone great. else have an, any notion where this ogre That's, lair might no, be I just think we got a so they're, they're asking you to tell them that they're not getting paid to ask questions about following the coyote lizard through the giant yeah. spider infested woods in the rain for <laughs> two days hey yeah, we had the option of taking another day off and wait for the rain to come cool down we decided no we we're gonna go into the rain so now we're okay. going into the rain we, we 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 have no choice but to trust zuvnu in this you know uh, all right uh, zuvnu so, is proving more competent than I. He, he says they're not his people we, uh, but once again i asked him um who are they if they're not your people other people not my people okay the well, then, i thought you knew the way to this place how could you I know way. You do? Okay. He so asked, why are we turning around? It's this way. Is that the way we went or a different way? A different way. Oh, I mean, you know, no, 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 no. It, you went a ways and now he's like kind of going in this ways. He's, okay. he's continuing on. Yes. He's orienteering. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Okay. On we go. All right. Yes. Our guide Not is establishing is orienting. Night comes, and you spend a miserable night in the pouring rain in the mud. Um, and then morning comes, and uh, visibility, there's good and bad news. Visibility is worse. Um, and you can barely see, you know, 200 feet in front of you. The good news is that the rain lets up, but it continues for a third day. Um, it's a misty kind of kind of brain now just kind of like is everywhere um and uh the best you could do you do see that there's a hillside here uh but other than that the best you could probably try to do is just like follow him or pick a direction and you're still following him right mm -hmm. yes okay knocking off one day of rations um uh let's see let me roll another d6 uh dalton Holy smokes. Uh oh. Well, it's a lot of tense. <clears throat> so, do we want two clerics in the next party or one? <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me again. So, um, what did, what did you roll in a d6? Two? Two. Okay. Not a one. That's the main thing. You find that is the main thing. Um, you, you, there are two things. One is that you find human footprints, uh, and they're coming from uh, from the seal side. Mm -hmm. And the second is you actually hear them um, uh, about the footprints are coming from here, but you hear them over here, and uh, you actually hear a voice that's uh, that's like. Hello there! Hello there! Let's hold our arrows. We've been here before. I recommend we simply walk yeah. away. He did. I'm going to put Zuvnu back in his sack immediately. 
Okay. I do not think we have no capacity to assist in travelers and all too much possibility to be ambushed. Let's just walk away. But what if they're in that. need of uh, um, succor over here? Then they'll have to get it somewhere. Then they can go to Anne's Redoubt. Oh, yeah, Redoubt. that's a, a font of succor. Suckers, maybe, <laughs> but... We're not taking on any strays, nonetheless. I see no reason we should leave them uncontacted. Is is there somewhere on your person where I cannot see a, a secret cornucopia bursting forth with food and rations? No, no, and no. We, no, no, no. We, we give them nothing. We leave. We have nothing to give. All right, uh, give Magnus. Rations. So you got yep. uh, a couple of... So, uh, I mean, how far away? You say, say the vo a voice comes out. How, like, uh, any idea how far? Uh, seven, 70 yards just uh, just within the mist it's it's too uh it's too dark to, it's, there's not enough visibility to even see what we're dealing with here i think it's pretty dangerous to step forward there could be could be a dozen archers out in the woods right now staring us down and we well, first to get closer shouldn't we find that out before they start trailing us and pick their fight okay i'm gonna call out in my best wizard voice who calls Um, a Douglas. That Douglas. sounds suspicious to me, Magnus. Nice to meet you, Douglas. Shall we move on? You don't wish to, to meet? We could trade tales of these lands. Uh, one more console with my friends. Right. Yeah, I'm right beside you, just saying this yeah. sounds like trouble, Magnus. So far you know it sounds it. Two, two, four and two against, is that right? Yeah, because I'm saying, like, if we, we're not going to outrun them necessarily, uh, especially in this kind of weather where we can't see where we're going, and especially if, what if we're going we, where they're going to, you know, I mean, there's just, we don't have control. Here we let's, have control. Let's, yeah, let's, let's. I think we don't have control because we don't know what where they they're up ahead. Maybe they've got they know what the terrain is up there. If anything, Good let's point. go back to where we were and uh, wait further down where we know what the terrain is like and set an ambush for them I'm if not, they follow. I'm not. Uh, I'm inclined to I'm be not conservative. Feeling it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm not feeling it's turning away from them. I think that's far more dangerous. Well, if 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 they if they have bad intent, I think that's. The, well then let's the, ask them to, to come to us yes come forward um and i'll just ask right now i'll just get to i'll say uh two of the mercenaries not the longbowmen get out into the woods on the side on either side to make sure we're not being flanked and and, and if you see anybody coming you shout out right away he says uh well, look friend i mean no offense but we can't trust you out here we hear you clopping hooves. We think you should come to us. Yes, well, you are in our way. Well, are they are they in our way? Like, are they in the way that we were, were traveling? No, no, they're uh, oh, okay. perpendicular to it, actually. Well, oh, okay. Magnus, I say now that since I am hearing what they what they're saying, they don't sound like in much need. So I don't feel that we need to deal with them then. But we need to make sure they're not going to deal with us if we leave them. It, it, not not half a day ago, I was fielding complaints about our guide. Here we have an opportunity to at least gain some, at least perhaps sane intelligence about the surrounding area. You make a compelling argument. It, right. it, isn't it suspicious though that they don't want to come forward? I mean, yeah. it's suspicious we that we don't as well. Either. All right. Where do I'll they do say it. they come from? I'm immortal. Where do you hail from? Who do you serve? Oh, we're in uh, Connor's gang. What I gang at, are I you look, in? I, I look at, <laughs> I look over at Menachem. Connor's gang. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good point. You have Menachem. He's like, he's like, uh, there's just some petty gang. There's a bunch of them out here. That's how they survive. 
Not any different than Anne's fort. Or us, really. Okay, so do you, uh... Would you be able to have a repartee with these? Are they among, uh... uh, uh Corax cells, or do you... No. Do you not know? Some random gang, they probably took over a, an old abandoned dungeon or a half-ruined uh, hill fort or something. You know? Okay. Well, you may call us Monacan's gang for the present. Uh, nice. Interesting. I'm a, uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow. Uh, Monacan turns to you and he says... Well, friend, I don't know that I would have said that. You know, you know what's funny, Ross, is I actually meant to say Magnus because they're both M it's names. It's great. But, it's so good. Now, yeah. now that I said it, I, I wish I kind of wish I hadn't, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. Pl I'm gonna play it off as as a as a brain fart by Magnus. Yeah. Um, it, they suddenly go silent. Do they know you, Manaki? Are, are you from around here? <laughs> He, he, I mean, and by the way, guys, I'm sorry if I just screwed us all. Uh, no, that's great. Because, because, because of a genuine mistake on, on the part oh, of the player. I love it. That makes it all the better. <laughs> oh, totally. Uh, in any case, yeah, no, Menachin is from around here. I charmed him out from, uh, from, uh, he was the leader. Oh, boy. Of a small gang of about 15 or so bandits that were, uh. Oh, were, so the name will be known. Okay. It's, po it's possible, but he didn't recognize that name. Although he might be more famous than this guy. Um, Shall we approach, or would you rather we move on? You hear silence. Okay, let's fan out. Yeah, Let let's do some good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I mean, let's let's okay. let's put into. Time. I'd like to propose we at least put into pairs and make sure we can always see people on our left and right. Buddy system. Um, yeah. Um, let's let's advance then in form yeah by rank in, in formation I guess you know yeah. if, if, they're gonna, if they're gonna act all sure right out into the woods all for sure. shady. Uh, what's the intention of fanning out? And I I'm just I I don't know I I may not be getting the tactic that might be to, obvious to, to envelop them I would imagine you're gonna try to uh, envelop them. I was trying to protect us from being enveloped but it can yeah. work the other way i just didn't want us to be all one group where they could surround us with uh bowmen and start firing and if we were broad they'd have to they'd probably run into our outside as well as they'd have to get to a you know very big area to attack okay well you you create sand, this, this formation sandwiches. and then after yeah. you create this formation you just hear silence yeah so do we want to advance here or um Let's let's let, let's move up and let's move up quickly because if they're trying to melt away into the forests and, and deliberately right. set in it, maybe maybe they're afraid and just running. Right. Okay, I have a question here to complicate things. We're all on horseback. We've never yeah. done this before. Are we gonna? I don't know about combat on horseback or if that's gonna be an absolute like advantage or disadvantage to us or. I got my spear. It's my it's, a, it's it's an advantage, all things being equal. So. Why don't we then? If we're all on horseback, we're all. I guess it is pretty cool and, and intimidating. You can totally imagine like sixteen of us all on these horses in the mist, and just yeah, move forward quickly and just just charge them all in a line. Fucking go at it and, and go yeah. at it. And see what we don't know what's ahead, I and mean, we can lame know, our horses. There's I don't no want, profit uh, in a, a fracas. Uh, if, it's, if, it's badly. A, if it's a bandit gang, there may be great profit in it, but... Uh, you think so? Oh, well, as you wish. Uh, well, no, it's not that I want to kill everybody on sight. I just want to see, you know... Uh, at this point, it's, I think, too dangerous. <laughs> Due to my gaffe, it's now too dangerous to, to just let them go in complete silence like that. Right. I mean, well, I, I agree with you that moving forward quickly is probably... I can track. Let's idea. move up and check it out. Yeah. And if it's something so scary, I'll find out. So we're walking forward on horseback, um, like cantering, yeah, like cantering forward, yeah, okay. We've got to move slow because we don't want to fall into like pit traps or or just you know trip over big rocks with our horses in the dark. Mist. Create a fight yeah. to the death where there wasn't one before. Mm -hmm. It's daytime though, right? Yeah, but it's still misty yeah. dark. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I cannot simulate the mist, uh, but here you are in the forest. Okay. Um, and, uh, so you start moving forward, um, and, um, Dalton, roll a d6. 
He's sixing. You have to get a three and above. You got a two. Well, well, it's not a three and above. Not a three and above. Okay. Um, all of a sudden, <laughs> arrows fly from the mist. That's bad. That answers uh-huh. our question. Um, and uh, this is going to be a surprise round. Oh, jeez. They, they can surprise to... us on... Wait, they can surprise me on it too. I decided that, I decided so because, um, it, you know... Um, yeah, you don't need to tell me. I trust yeah, you. Yeah, there's conditions. Yeah, there's conditions. Yeah, there's just so many things right now. Like As, If it's intentional, I trust you completely. Yeah, d- die rolls never... That's for when there's oh, no man. better decision. I'm yeah. so sorry, yeah. everybody. No, no, this is <laughs> great. Oh, it's awesome. It's an opportunity for emergent action. Well, that's if, all. They, if things go well, Menachem's uh, fame may may go way up, <laughs> yeah, not right. in a good way. Indeed. Right. Okay, so they all get. Um, they all get. I may have just embroiled us in the whole Korak situation. <laughs> two shots. I don't know two who Korak forces, is, but eight, whatever. 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah, exactly. 18, whatever 20, that is. 22, 24. I just this whole thing going down here has just been bad news all along. That's all I'm saying. Everybody yeah. seems to have this thing going on. They're dark. They're fighting. It's just, it's just a minefield. Ooh, that's a lot of die rolls. That is twenty-four. Okay, now I'm gonna just start from the top and go down. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at. I, I don't know what a horse. I don't know what a horse's AC is. To be honest with you. Uh, oh, I can well, tell you. We, we can look, what we is help it? you out with that? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I, I can kind of do the. Actually, there it is, really quick. It, this book's pretty good for that. Um, war horse, but so no, if you, these are riding horses. No, okay. If you have a war horse, actually, it's the same. It's, it's ascending armor class twelve, yeah. just different hit points. The good news is they have a surprising number of hit points. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. So, um, I'm just going to go kind of from the top and sweep through. And we're going to start with mercenaries. So a 19 hits. Let's see. It's a bunch of mercenaries first. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mercenaries. Whew. Ay ay ay. So I think that I said that they had like uh, what did I say? Six. So let's see. One is four, five. So one of them dies. Poof, a couple of arrows go into him, and then uh, I won't carry it over. Don't worry. So then another one dies, and then three more die. <laughs> arrows just fly from the mist and kill a bunch of mercenaries. Uh, they looks like they have oh, right. Is it one hit die? Captain has seven hit points, not the mercenaries. Okay. Um, yeah. So a bunch of mercenaries die, and that's a surprise round. So the next thing is uh, plans, stunts, schemes, and spells uh, for the next. Did the round. arrows come from? I know I see the figures there, but did the arrows come from one general direction or? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, no. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they came from straight ahead where you were headed. Um, okay. Yeah. Then uh, well, I know what I want to do. Yeah, my plan is simple, which is sleep. Okay. Right. And I plan on tilting my uh, lance forward, even though I get no bonuses, unlike later editions of the game. I'm going to do a get... physical charge with the lance. Um, can do we? Uh, we didn't resolve this. I mean, I did say that I would love to have that magic spear. Um, that's what I brought up earlier. Yeah, I know you did. I'm just wondering if that's like so that I, I don't have that right do, now. Do you both want it? Is this a no? That wasn't a, a problem. They, they, no, no. Okay, they both in that case, yeah, you it. got it. Okay, it was cool. a question I, about I, whether I, it was evil enough. You know, like we yeah, yeah. I lower, I lower this dark spear and uh, and, and <laughs> lay alongside awesome. Laura. Dark like, spear, Flanagan. Dark spear. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, roll a d6, Magnus. I like that. D6. I like that too. It could be a you know a noticeable thing about you. How swings you are able agreement. to act first. So the first right. thing is uh, anyone moving can move your token and missile fire. Are we charging them? Is that what's happening? I, I am. Know. 
I love the idea of Alaric and, and Flanagan side by side, just perfect. Through the it's awesome. Really fucking cool. Yeah. I wish I had my war horse with me. But I didn't expect that. It's too long of a trip to bring my war horse. You're on horseback, so you can do quite a yeah. lot of ground. I think so. I think. Uh... So right wherever you're going, Alaric, just I'll, I'll go beside you wherever that is. I'm going to move, uh, move the horses out of the way, and they're just going to kind of yeah. act as where abstractions. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? There it is. Magnus is going to take a couple salted. of pot shots. Pretty sure I can reach it with a longbow. Okay. Yeah, I agree. And you can see him now, so no penalty. Going on the on the side wing, mm -hmm. because I don't know what they're doing. I don't want to block shots. And that stuff. hits. Five damage. Um... Gosh darn it. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that kills me. Uh, so I'll do one in the back since I'm assuming that's, you know, whatever's most advantageous right now. Loosing arrows. Okay. Uh, and then if you, everybody's done moving and firing arrows, uh, you can roll to... Wait, no, they're going to do it. How, how about our longbow, man? Oh, yeah, you have four longbow, man. Yeah. Let, let me well, see how many, many longbowmen are dead. Yes. Yeah. Two are dead, so two can attack. But you have two longbows. You know, well, it frees up. That's cool, actually. Wait a second. How many men did we have? 12 total. So we were guaranteed to... Okay. All right. Yeah, that kills another one. And another one is wounded. Uh, okay. Um, um, am I missing anything else? Bloombad would ride forward to attack on horseback as well. Certainly. And they're going to... They're going to take missile attacks too, I think, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're going to move and... Do their, their moves and missile attacks. So let's see. They don't have to move. Uh, one, two, three are going to fire missiles. Uh, and they're probably just going to fire back. Can at... they? Um... Let's like see. Like if we want initiative and we moved into melee range, can they still fire missiles? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're they're in yeah. the back rank and. Um, oh, those guys, yeah, yeah. But even then, I would say that's move. It's not melee yet, and you have to. I, I would say you have to do that to to be in melee is, is to do that part. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Bloombad can take one, and then two are gonna fire at Menachem. So miss, and then four are gonna because two. Are, Let's see, does a 14 or a 16 hit Menachem? Yes, both hit him. Oh no, okay. He takes 8 points of damage. Uh. This is just so I can remember. Rogues are way under DP, HP'd in Swords of Mystery. Right. He's, he's, he's okay, he's doing okay. Alright. Yeah, but I just hate We're at uh, melee combat, so if you're attacking, you can do that now. Time. Okay, so us, those of us who charge the spell, and, of course. So I, always, I, started, I, 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 I still don't get this. Can I do melee combat because I moved? Yeah, you can move yeah. and do melee. Yeah. Okay. It's not hand axe, but that's the. Oh, I didn't mean to do thrown. I meant to do. Uh, oh, sorry. That was the wrong button. It's just, all right. Uh, it still hits, but it'll do a lot less damage than that. Uh, yeah, and you can, like, just start chopping people up, Alaric. These are one-hit uh, people. <clears throat> oh, right. I can't oh, do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, so I'm, I hit armor class 16. Oh, my God. See, what happens when I go against one-hit dice? Did you notice that I never miss? I all roll 20s and stuff on that? I know. Look at me, too. Yeah, I only hit once. Oh, no. Okay. But I do, and I do three damage. Okay. Um. 
Oh, look at that. A 21, a 21. Oh, I rolled one too many. Uh, a 4 and a 15. Oh, no, that's 5. 22. Okay. Um, and then how'd the sleep spell go? So basically, I imagine that means I rode through or max, something. <laughs> max result on the sleep spell. The rest uh, fall asleep. Sleepy. Is what it says in roll 20. Sleepy. Yeah. Um, I wonder about trying to uh, is find out who these people are and replen uh, offering them uh, higher if any of them seem like they might be worthy of joining our ranks. They just um, killed I five of our men. Yeah, our, our, our men would not put up be with that. Amenable to that. Yeah. You're like right. under other circumstances, I would be right there with you. I'm a big fan yeah, of like right. looping people in and like them, recruiting. Right. And this, despite despite my gaffe, yeah. they killed without provocation. So yeah, you're right. Totally. No, we would have totally done the same thing to them. Like they yeah, the provocations yeah. that were out here in the forest of hope in an armed group. Flooding Everyone is, just is high where... strong all the time out here. Yeah, Flooding is just doesn't want doesn't want to go home with half of our half of our mercenaries, with half the people who came out. <sighs> But maybe we can find there's an opportunity for it. Maybe we can find people back at Anne's. I think that would probably be a safer move. Yeah, yeah. But they All are right. going to notice not the same ones we left with. Okay, yeah. let's, let's their families let's have a look. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's have, let's have a look. Uh, they they clearly were were they planted here or were they moving through the wilderness when we when we found them? Um, you get well, the you get at least a couple alive for that question. Uh, Dalton, uh, it was he saw tracks before, and it's clear that they were also like kind of patrolling and moving and had their own goals out here. Uh, Connor's gang were. Which of these idiots are Connor? Probably none of them. Likely not. Dalton mutters over the sleeping and the dead, picking through their equipment, looking like a rag and bone man trying to make heads or tails of the various accoutrements. I'm gonna look the other way while Manakin does whatever he feels like. Uh, yeah, and and so will I with, if when the other mercenaries do whatever they feel like as well. I am not looking away. Yeah, they. Um, I'm allowing them to do what they want as well. Maybe they're so angry. The mercenaries are angry. Are we not gonna they, find uh, out where the gang is? I, I left one alive. And uh, no, I'm asking them. Them. And you, uh, you begin to notice. Uh, kind of bestial glare just like in the corner of your eye you think wait what is it? what and then you and then you're like in the faces of these mercenaries you know and then you're like oh no you know it's just in your mind um, mm. sure it is there are reason there are more reasons than danger to the body to avoid these encounters and this force of hope the place isn't good for you and neither is this oh. all the killing <sighs> yes. Who am I to say? I stained my dagger with blood as much as anyone else. I think I missed that with the with the, the bandits seemed angry and. Uh, I was saying you... that the, uh, the the mercenaries uh, they the they're, mercenaries they're very angry, and out yeah. of the corner of your eye, you almost think they take on a bestial appearance, but you kind of blink oh. and look at them, and you're like, oh no, they're just normal. You know, it's just a. Uh... Okay, I missed that part. Yeah. Um. I... So are they, um, what are they doing? Are they, um, I mean, I imagine there's kind of like a squad captain or something like that, but whatever. I like, um, what is Menachem doing to these guys? I'm assuming that all except one have been slain. Okay. Uh, two. You want me to call okay. the one? Two. I all thought right. you said, I thought you said I left one alive. Yeah, and I ended up leave, having two here. Too. How many you want? Oh, okay. Uh, um, I mean, <laughs> Magnus wants none. But uh, because I, he's very pragmatic about this situation, none of these men should re be able to return to tell what happened or that we were here. Well, then there's no point in questioning them. So, finish up. But uh, I mean that—that that is my—that—that's actually my intent. That was my intent by looking the other way. So I yeah. don't really care if any of them live. Frankly, they're—they're—they're they're, they're worse than scum, and I'm actually getting flashbacks from my own rain-soaked desperate journey through the forest of hope when i was attacked you know and uh, nearly killed and uh 
And so these these types deserve no mercy. That's actually how they found Magnus. Hmm. Yeah. I tried. To, I'm shocked as it when it continues, and I'm like, right, but it's too late before I could raise much objection to the final yeah. slitting of throats. Yeah, for sure. Let the, mercenaries, let the mercenaries do that too. Like just just, just kill them. I uh, do they have anything? Own. So we have sacrificed five lives and some dignity on the altar of this altercation. Did we get anything good out of it? Do we have any noteworthy funds, remarkable treasures, snacks, a skitters, I, uh, some, a bag of skittles? Yeah, I have a note here. I'll do that after the session. To be honest with you, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, unpleasant business. Let's move on. Zuvnu. Uh, let's pick up the uh, the arrows and the uh, quivers, and also let's take uh, the weather's crap anyway. So let's take a, a little bit of time to, you know, set yeah. up a carn because we're not going to be able to dig in this ground right now. We don't have the tools yeah. for it, but we can set up a carn for them. I was about to say, yeah, we need to like make appropriate respects to the dead. Yeah, this man fought well. Some have been with us for for months. And appropriate long bus two of them. Right, yeah. Magnus <laughs> goes quiet for the rest of the evening, just dips into his tent. It's like, seems kind of grim of mood and, uh, will wake me if there's any further dangers. Well, so, the, dude. This is just the second hour of the day. Oh, second yeah. hour. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I thought we were taking time to, I thought, okay, yeah. All right, let's move on. Well, you can go into it. He is you know, grim of mood anyway, and rather withdrawn. Yes, he can still sulk off on the side while we do the carny. You see Zuvnu is like, follow me, servants, and he starts kind of backtracking and going part of the way he came this way. Okay. Yeah. You know, carrying on might be the best thing after all that anyways, right? So, well, as long as we have time to put the carn up. Yeah, you yeah. do that. So that okay. takes a... Uh, and then um, after you put the carn up and uh, carrying up and you start to depart... Uh, uh, Dalton, roll a d6 twice because they're for two different things. And did I do this correctly? Two and five, respectively. Hmm. Two and five. Okay, that's my attacks is what that is. I missed, uh, missed rolling something, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, two and five. Okay, so for the first one, you notice um, you notice some signs of travel, of little reptilian feet uh, to the west, and then you notice that there are little figures shifting among the rocks. Um, you you estimate that there are probably a great many of them. Um, okay. Yes, yes, you've knew. Sorry, why am I French all of a sudden? <laughs> yes, you've knew. What, what do you, you? Are these your people? He, he you pointed out. He's yeah. like, and he looks yeah. at the yes. signs. And he looks up, and he's like, Yeah, yeah, they're trying to do an ambush. And then, meanwhile, before you respond. You notice a second thing, because there's two things going on. Oh, no. You also notice, this way, the figure among the mist, and now the rains have stopped, uh, and a thick mist settles in. But among the mists, off in the distance, you see a man on horseback. You think perhaps a few other figures on horseback quietly observing you all. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly going to bring that to the attention of my compatriots. Uh, As fellow horse riders are likely to be people of significant power compared to uh, footmen pedestri uh, pedestrianating all across the forest. Nonetheless, the ambush is the thing. Yes. Perhaps uh, one of them will... You think perhaps one of them will wander into the other? I think perhaps Zuvnu should announce our presence and... Uh... And, and are in, uh, mm. 
Should he? Zuvnu, can you, Zuvnu, can you stop this ambush with your leadership skills? Yes, I can. I will demand that they lay down their arms and obey Lord Zuvnu. Yes, or, or, yeah. yes oh, or, or, or perhaps they can keep up their arms and, uh, and join your army. Yes. Yes, if they are worthy. Oh, well, if not, we'll make them so together. As long as they are not taller than Zuvnu, he pats, they can live. Magnus, none of them, he, ri- he, none of, he, none he, of them he, rides in your sack. He pats. <laughs> and that's right. <laughs> oh, God, this is he, terrible. He pats your knee like you're a dog, Magnus, and is like, you're a good servant. I love this guy. The best. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. It's growing on me, actually. So that's yeah. that. That is the plan. Yeah. So the plan is that we all stand back and Zuvnu alone approaches. No! Well, no, 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 no. I don't want him killed. I'd rather that he approach with his retinue and mm-hmm. announce and, and say, you know, uh, some 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 kobold version of uh, you know, join us or die type of thing. Okay. You know. If those other guys are watching our actions and they happen to be aligned with the forces of law, which is one unlikely. problem at a time, we're gonna look bad. But anyway, so as we look you bad are already, look at us. We look like crap. We've been in the rain all day. Uh, as you are discussing this, um, you do see that uh, Dalton. You notice this. Um, the figures on horseback are now gone, as if they were never there. And the uh, things skittering among the rocks are no longer moving, and you also don't see them. So these guys, the guys among the rocks were um, in one direction, and the guys on the horseback were like over to on the up on the side or something. Yeah, I'll I'll ping it on the map. Uh, so yeah, the, I, it wasn't the uh, the things among the rocks were over here. Yeah, and the figures on horseback were over here. So the rocks is where we were heading, which coincides with the fact that he says they're his people. So that's uh-huh. good. More seems confidence like in Zuvnu! Wi- seems like a wild coincidence that they would we'd see them both at the same time and they're not being aware and they, they're not aware of each other. My well, vibe is we're, they we're, were got We are between the two of them. Yeah. So my vibe is that they were aware and watching what what we're doing, both perhaps with the other thing and what we're doing now, they're making yeah, decisions. Yeah, like the riders have been following us or something. Has when you said that the rain the rains stopped, has vis- did visibility increase, and that's kind of why we saw these riders. Like, did it? It's it's worse. Uh, the only oh, reason worse. that you saw the riders is because of uh, Dalton's incredible, oh. nearly superhuman okay. skill. Yeah, okay. we've got a tremendous amount of mist in the air now. All the the water used to be translucent and packed together. Now Apparently. it's expanded into a foam that fills the entire atmosphere. Let's see He's how happy. let's see how we do with Zubno. Okay. Um I would like to propose that we uh, so we were we headed west when that happened? Like right. I just want to know if those riders were behind us or to our side. You were headed this way, but you can okay, see so in, the, in the distance at this point you can see the water bank of the river. Okay. I mean, I I think we should yeah go ahead with the cobalts, but let's just keep a like set a watch to our rear and other side as well. Um, maybe those riders have been following us and they've disappeared, but maybe maybe not. So let's keep an eye out there too. Okay. okay. So uh, don't trust at this point, you you f- start to march forward. Zuvnu announcing himself. This is only a matter of. 100 yards or so, so I, I won't move the token, because these are six-mile hexes, but he's like, uh, he's like, um, <clears throat> uh, attention, weaklings, future slaves of Zuvnu, lay down, <laughs> sorry, Richard, <laughs> Sl- lay down your arms and submit yourself to Lord Zuvnu, and he just... <laughs> it just keeps yelling this. And stuff. I start giving him a rhythmic backbeat with my. Oh, mention my, your, uh, mention your huge. Mention your huge army of of human slaves. Oh yeah, that's right. And I have a huge army of slaves. And to everybody else, you just hear like. Ah, 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 ah. No response. 
no response and you don't find anything that's too bad uh oh well all right okay now i i don't want to bury this um you do have a ranger that has a literal tracking mechanic so yeah you can can use that uh if you use it then let's apply all of the tracking things from the ranger let me look real quick here player's guide um character class well, because Zub, Zubnu can tell us I mean, if he's from this area he knows these are his people mm-hmm. then he can tell us if they just went back towards their home like if it, will we be following their tracks if we uh if we continue to go towards our destination or did they go in a different direction yeah no um um he thinks we don't know that... which way they went <clears throat> he thinks that they're trying to work to set up a good ambush this is what his people do mm. Um, it says outdoor tracking. The basic chance is a 90% modified by 10% for each day old, modified by 10% uh, for every uh, for each day of rain that has fallen on the trail. Now, I think what it's going to be is like you have things like underground and city here. I, I think this is going to be kind of hard, but it has just happened. So I, I'm going to kind of I'm going to shoot the target here. What I think, Richard. Okay, so I think it's okay. going to be. I think it's going to be like a 70% chance to lose. No, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, 30% chance, the opposite side of it, 30% chance to lose the trail. Okay. okay. So if I roll a 1 through 30, I lose the trail. But if uh, I roll higher than a 30, I keep the trail. Uh, isn't okay. it the opposite? You roll a... Yeah, like it's, you get 70 that's why you should call it okay. a 70%. I want to roll a 70 or below. I want to yeah. roll low. Before okay. you roll that, um, let's... Just a second here. So... Zunu thinks we might be heading into an ambush. We also know there's riders behind us, and we have identified that they're probably more more powerful and significant of a force. Um, we only saw two, though, right? Like, I just wonder if we want to um, hold up here for a second, not track them. We know there's going to be all kinds of tracks going in the cobalt direction. They're not going to disappear immediately. It stopped raining even. And actually, like, check out how many, like, track back those horses and find out where they where they went, how, see how many there are. Um, and make sure we're not being, uh, there's not something on our back here. Locked? Yeah, okay. But if we go track them, and we go to them, we will be kind of replicating the scenario we had a few minutes ago, where we have two yeah. armed, twitchy people approaching each other. I think maybe I feel like we... we should avoid a confrontation if possible. Yeah. So maybe yeah, we I should didn't... go after the kobolds. I don't know if the others wanted a confrontation. They disappeared. We didn't know uh, if the first ones wanted a confrontation. Yeah. Well, no. we just heard that these guys are probably going to ambush us. Like, do we want to be walking? We in? have no way of estimating their like their intentions or I, their plan. Can I just say I'm like having so much fun. Like I'm adoring this. I'm sorry if it's if it's fun at your all's misery. But like here you I are, like it. these misty woods, and you can't figure you can't see what's going on with these factions. They're in the mist, and you're like trying to figure it out. And you're you know, and you could just die. Like you could. So you have yeah. to make the right choices. Uh, I'm immortal. <laughs> um, I, I well, if, if, if a confrontation is, is to be avoided, then perhaps we simply move on. Avoid both groups. Thoughts? Well, I think oh, we yeah. want to know that we want to follow the, the kobolds are going to lead us to our. Yeah, to like the kobolds are the mission yeah. objective, or at least in part. Yeah. Yes. I guess what I'm saying is, do we want to go there, you know, fight them, ambush, go stalk out Vorlak, etc. And the whole time, we don't know if there's people watching us from behind, and we don't even know who they are. Like, that seems... Um, I, seems I like agree we, with that. Like, it's not what great. Our, I don't think they have a better option. But what is our solution in those people? What What would you suggest? Going to... Tracking them and then doing what? Well, if they disappeared into... If they disappeared backwards, just yeah. maybe we, we hold up where we are right now, send a couple people back not on horseback it's really low visibility and just go to where we just last saw them and follow back for 10 minutes and see if there's just two i don't know maybe maybe there's a conversation that happens i don't know like i don't know i think if they're are they following us to kill us it just feels like something else is going on there i don't know i think they just bumped into us at random cocked at us and then decided to leave really yeah like i'm an optimistic man yeah, I don't know. It feels like uh, too much of a coincidence for me that they would, with this low visibility, boom, boom, both at the same well, time. Low visibility is when you bump into each other more often. But I yeah, just but think groups all at once. That's that seems kind of like hard to, like, hard to imagine. I, uh, I'm, 
I mean, we don't. I, I don't know. I mean, we don't think the uh, the Connors people are related to the Kobolds for sure. They could be related to the Horsemen, but they're not related to the Kobolds. So that's a coincidence right off the bit, get go, right there. Because hmm. we literally just encountered them moments before the Kobold. You know, I like think. An hour. I'm more worried about what happens to a scouting party if they should be discovered than I am. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Like, if we're going to go back, we should just all go back. Yeah, I don't know what to do either. Like, I mean, the Cobalt tracks aren't going to disappear. Um, if we want to, like, the, I guess... The Kobolds might disappear. And there are if missions. We, if, if we turn around and spend a bunch of time, they make a board waiting for us and, and just move yeah. on. And prepare well, their about... ambush quicker. How about this? We we go forward, and if there if there if we end up in a spot where, I mean, it probably is going to be the place where the kobolds are going to ambush us, where we can stop. If there's any kind of bottleneck or place where we can stop moving and then wait and for these people to catch up again, um, that might that might be a good thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like but, ambush yeah, people following like us. Picking your ground is good, but what I was saying about following the kobolds, which hopefully we can pick our ground, uh, is that the if we follow them immediately their ambush is a lot less complicated yeah, yeah. and planned than if we check this then go after them right so say, go ahead i say we move on towards towards the along with the kobold tracks and 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 allow these mysterious horsemen to do what they're going to do rather than uh risk the time and effort in uh, adding to our list of tasks for sure and i would i'd like to propose that if we're while tracking the cobalt if we do get to a place where it's like you know what let's just stop here for 10 minutes and see if these horsemen catch up and we can catch them unawares that might be a good thing to do richard i'm gonna roll your tracking check in secret okay so let me but i'm gonna tell you the mechanics i was just having a conversation about this because <clears throat> you may choose you know you may say you don't want to do this no, I do. Do it. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you the mechanics so you can, so okay. you, and and everybody can decide. So it says that a ranger can all is very unlikely to be surprised. Only one in six, but you have a group of people in the mist that it's like this is their whole thing. It's what they're trying to do. So this is how I'm gonna this is how I'm gonna condense all that down. Mm -hmm. If you pass the tracking check, you are right. If you fail the tracking check then they're leading you where they want you to go. Um, I like that. And I'll still mm -hmm. give you a chance like to not be surprised, but then I'm going to modify this. Uh, yeah. th that's kind of the problem with these like dictated, like eh, a ranger can only be, you know, like, so. No, 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 but, I get it. But yeah, this is like rule of only, only when there's like tons of factors would I ever change that. Like, you know, and this, so this is where yeah. we're at. Thank you. My that, guy. I okay. trust you. I like a guy who will take that rule I and do apply logic to it. Yeah. I do and appreciate I that, that, you, so. that you checked it with me. Yeah. Like, yeah. but we're good. So here right, we go. We got, we got 14 minutes left. Let's get some stuff done. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> you uh, you follow Cobalt tracks. Um, and uh, I, I'll i kind of move the token to simulate kind of movement here. But they, they lead actually more like that direction, like away from the river. But it's this is only a matter of a few hundred yards. So, and then you find that they're uh, and now you can roll a d6. This is just the regular thing here to see, or it would be the expanded range. Eight. That's all I get. Five. Right. A five. Okay. <clears throat> you see, um, and you see it before actually let me roll mine too okay um you hear a commotion among all the the craggy river valley rocks the this is you know and, and um and the mud you hear like a bunch of slapping noises of little feet run around in the mud and and you hear ah, la, 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 you know and there's a bunch of commotion and you realize that there's probably three times the number that you probably sensed in the in the stones, and they're rushing to try to get ready for you all and react to the information. It seems that you followed them to their whatever next echelon, you know, that that, that a, a group of them. I would like to preempt. I would just like to hit them with sleep as soon as can can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, I am waiting. We'll just, uh, we'll start with that, and then that's our negotiating position. I'm waiting for Magnus's command on moving forward since he's the one casting spells. Yeah, and like for us, closing ranks is the best thing we can do because we get nine attacks a turn between Alaric and Flanagan. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, move move to you know, it's it's. He points out. He, I guess you know, Dalton points them out to me, and as soon as I can see one, I know where there's a group of them, and hit sleep, and then tell missile guys to shoot any survivors. Let's just go for it. And then, and then I'd like to give him a chance to surrender, like after if if we can. If are you saying we can get a surprise round on him, Ross? Or uh, no, they seem pretty. It's okay. it's pretty clear that they're like trying to get ready for you is what it, what's going on kind of they're pretty keyed well, up yeah Oops. but so were we in the woods when we were riding we'd have to come at them from a completely different direction if we wanted to surprise them which i might be is there a way given don't describe the geography to me like but like is there a way that dalton sees to like come at these guys from a different direction that they probably wouldn't expect yeah no you you would... know where they are yeah you, okay. you know where they are you don't know how like the precise number but you know they're like three times what you saw there's a whole bunch of them and uh you know that they're like in a copse of rocks and scrub trying to hide trying to make a plan perhaps ready to run and hide which they seem to be very good at so yeah you could try to find what is the goal though is the goal like to shock or to get magnus up really fast so he can cast a spell they know I you're there so. to be clear Okay, so they know he's you, there, they know we're there. You know they know, you know they know you're there. Mm. Magnus, I would seriously recommend just, like, scare the crap out of them. Just, like, yell at them. Because, like... Yeah, I'd Richard, like you're very yellow. powerful? Richard, they yeah. changed roll 20 on me. How do I get rid of this? I don't know how to do it anymore. Uh... What's that? It's a Ooh. line. If you just, like... No, it's a square, oh, I'm wondering. Oh, about. it's your selection from the... Okay, interesting. Gotcha, you gotcha. Go. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. So, uh, you're going to, so you declare the spell. We're just going to use the combat procedure, uh, at this point. Uh, you declared, you're going to try to sleep. Um, mm -hmm. roll D six Magnus. Three. And I got yes. a one. You all win. Uh, let's see. The first thing is movement and missile fire. Does Magnus want us to start our approach, or well, we'll no? If it listen, if we're in combat procedure, we have to shoot. I mean, yeah, you should you should charge. Shock and awe is the thing. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, yep, let's go in. Flanagan rides alongside Alaric again. Actually, I'm going to hit them from the side because that'll make it even more confusing. Sure. I'll do the same with you. Oh wow, uh, your longbowmen, uh, they're. They're done with this. They just start just like queuing these things down. Why is it not giving me an option to change their status effect? Hmm. Uh, are you? Do you have measure selected, or do you have select selected? I have select selected. Planning. It's on the token layer. I think I need to reload roll twenty. It's acting janky. That's probably plan again. Plan. Uh, uh, actually. You know, we can hit them from two different directions because remember, we have a lot of multiple attacks. And horses. So we're much better off that way. Okay, yeah, you yes. do that. I mean, you got horses, okay. so like you got yep. vast. Because this way we uh, each can attack a group of them, you know? Yep. Two person um, working attack. I mean, where's my token at? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, yeah, you only have four, five, six, seven surviving mercenaries. So, only three that aren't firing bows. Um, we'll go there. Oh, my token is not on this map. Uh, weird. I probably got rid of it on accident. Let me fix That's it. That's fine. Dalton, bam. Make it a little bit smaller. There you go. Shrink me back down to fun size. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then Menachem could fire if he didn't already. He did. He hit one for one. Okay. I can't. I killed four. I guess I'm just going to move him off. Don't worry. I know you can move there. Um, okay. Uh, all right. And let's see. They get a chance to fire their bows. It's pretty awful. Um, 
They, they use bows, but I thought yeah. they used like smaller things than that. Yeah, well, Not you know good what? Bows. I, I thought they used like because that's like the their... ones before you slings on. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me just make sure that's the the crux of their entire. Okay, good. It, it leaves it up to me. The, okay. But I will say that, that it does D4. But, I mean, yeah, they're going to be able to attack with their bows. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. 15 attacks. What are the odds of 15 threes? Let's go for it. Ooh, that's a lot of 20s. A lot of high rolls there. All right. We're gonna, they're going to start firing back because they just lost a lot of their friends. Uh, for some reason, I can do it with these mercenaries. So let's roll for damage for one, two. Actually, I can't remember their armor class. Let me f find that out. Um, mercenaries? Yeah. Do you have it? Uh, it'll take me a second here. Uh, 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 these are long, longbow now or longbowmen? So yeah. Uh, armor class 13. Armor class 13. Hubbard right years there. are 14. 13, 14. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 hits. Jeez, man. We might lose all of our mercenaries here. Actually, you do. Like, all those are dead. I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh, brutal. Um, and I'm going to even do a morale check for your surviving mercenaries at the end of the round. Um, we have survivors. You have three. On the oh, and the map three. Are they only firing at the mercenaries? Oh, the ones that, yeah, Got this it. is what makes sense to me. Like, right. Cause like you had all this arrow fire and killed a bunch of them. So they just go <laughs> and they fire right. arrows off, you know? Uh, meanwhile, you are trying to come around from the side. That's a different thing. Right. Okay. It's like after arrow fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, melee That's combat good. and spells. So you all can attack. All right. Let's fucking take these guys out. Um, 13. Oh, my God. Terrible rolls. Armor class 12. Terrible rolls. I only hit twice. No, once. I only hit once. I hit every time, even with an eight. I hit on class twelve, which is amazing. Nice. Yeah. I so, hit, I kick one in the snoot for four damage. Okay. Some of them start I to do five, five. I hit one for five, two damage. Five, 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 two for me. Five, two. Let me resolve this just so I know. All right, that'll do it. Okay, so all these are dead. Ah, oh, it won't let me. Ah, uh, that's weird. There's something up with the token. I don't know what. Just then, wading through these things with this with dark spear. Oh, you've named it. It's a bad sign. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You start to maybe you see that kind of bestial expression on Flanagan's face. It will consume me. Uh, <laughs> Alaric, how consume, many did you hit? I only hit one for two damage. Okay. Well, um, we have D four hit points. Two damage. Okay, so you kill one. And the mercenaries. Slightly less embarrassing. One of kill them one. hits. Actually, I rolled the wrong one. Because they have halberdiers. Okay. And then Dalton, how many did you hit? Uh, I hit one, AC 14. Uh, just I just kicked one. Okay. Uh, so it's non-lethal, but I'm pretty sure my goblinoid bonus applies. So it that guy's out. He's not a goblinoid. Oh, in that case, I probably did, like, two but damage. You kicked him. I get that. And that's, yeah, yeah it's pretty bad for him. Okay. Oof. Um, Zuvnu is just jumping up and down, like, You fools face the wrath of my forces! Um, you know, and... Ten uh, go to sleep. Ten go to sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, this number goes to sleep. This number is still up. Um, and then they, it's their melee turn. There's going to be two morale checks here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that fails. And these mercenaries, like, they flee the field. Like, they're like, oh, my God. Um, right. Abandon your posts. And they just flee. They just straight up flee into the forest. 
Like, I mean, you know, wait, all, almost all their wait, friends wait, are dead. We take those horses. I'll find them later. Don't worry about it. M meanwhile, the Cobalts are going to do that, uh, and they actually pass. Uh, yeah, I think. Wow. Let me look again here and just make sure. I no, thought high wait. was. I thought high was fighty and low was fail. For uh, high is fail, um, and they did fail actually. They have morale six. I had it wrong. So, um, yeah, they're they're going to just lay down their arms and listen to Zuvnu, who strides confidently forward. To, to capture his new subjects. And uh, that's actually where we're going to end the adventure tonight. Yeah! Oh, <laughs>